started my residency with Edma Printmakers this September. Um, I worked a lot with screen printing as part of my medium and I've done screen printing before but this was an opportunity for me to really delve deep within screen printing and try out new things that I hadn't before with the help of the staff as well. Um, the themes I decided to look at were looking at the Seven Queens of Sin, which are these folkloric stories from Pakistan, and look, thinking about my own migration process and those ideas of travelling as a form of healing and as also as a form of fighting and, and for survival, that sort of idea. And so looking through these stories, it was a sort of safe sort of fantasy world that I could like delve deep into and look at the different heroines and thinking about my own stories. Um, so I decided to perform these characters and create these um, different Mughal-inspired fabrics that had these prints on them with the different patterns and thinking about the rich histories of my heritage um, as well as linking it to my own story of coming to Scotland and using different layers as this way of thinking about my own layers of identity as well. For me, it was always quite a hard thing coming from two very distinct cultures and trying to like merge the two and find my own identity within that. So in a lot of ways, um, the prints that I've made here are the sort of like healing process of like thinking about my two different heritages and how I can find myself within them through performing these characters from these folklores. And I think this is really the start of a new project for me. I've um, created this bigger print that I'm really happy with and I want to work more into it, embellish more into it and thinking about the other stories that have come from these folklores as well as my own experiences. It's just been this sort of like safe way to enter this world and now I want to work on it in different mediums. So I've got a photography residency that's coming up so I want to explore that, the same sort of themes within that residency as well. And so it's just been a really encouraging atmosphere at Edinburgh Printmakers that's let me feel safe enough to explore these themes. Um, and I'm just really looking forward to other directions or that I'm going to take it. Um, because for me, the printmaking process isn't the final thing. For me, it's all about how I can use that and embellish on top of it, add it, change it to become more sculptural and thinking about it and how the audience will perceive it as well. Um, so creating that sense of story and narrative and the work is quite important to me. So I'm really excited to see how that will all come together for the show next year. I started with just a photographic screen print. Um, for me, that was an entryway back into screen printing because I was comfortable with this process, but I decided to do a four color separation. So they, this one is actually two colors and then I progressed onto adding more and more. And it was this testing and trying out what transparencies work the best. For me, I realized that actually the yellow was quite strong in a lot of them. So I decided that actually I just wanted to play with monotyping on top. So then I started monotyping different textures onto the print itself and sort of playing around with morphing the image um, more so than it already was. So making it really dis dismorphed and distorted um, and sort of hard to perceive exactly what's going on in it. Um, and then from that, I decided I really wanted to start printing onto fabrics. So I created this test print which was um, one of the characters from the stories. And I had lots of different fabrics that I tried this on and I really liked the silk yellow fabric, the way the pink was sitting on it. And I scratched out aspects as well of the acetate. So that created these lines here that oh. it looks like it's the embroidery as part of the sari. But actually it was just scratched out um, and it really gives that sort of hand embellished feel that the embroidery has as well. And I think screen printing can be quite like a flat process. So that's why I introduced like these different fabrics that had these textures within them. This, this sort of paisley pattern, which is obviously quite a historical importance with the connections of colonialism as well. Um, and thinking through how I can bring the fabric into the image itself and leaving these gaps and space for them to shine through. 
So that was just a really exciting process. And then I've come back and sort of created the full composition on the bigger pieces. I really loved this fabric. And this is actually the back of um, the fabric and not the front. So the front looks like this. Um, but I really liked the idea of thinking about what's hidden and what's actually not usually visible and this the behind the scenes of something and sort of looking at these stories as overlooked and thinking about the fabrics that are overlooked as well and creating these textures that come out of the flat screen printing method. I think there's just so much richness that comes with printing onto textured surfaces um, and I'm really excited to try and use like the front of it to sort of like turn it around and see how it sits with the back um, and play with the sculptural aspects of fabric and how it can be molded. And then I did one on the yellow as well. And here I was playing with textures within the river as well and thinking about the monotyping that I did at the earlier stages and bring it, how I could bring that back into the final piece without it looking so flat, especially because this fabric didn't have any pattern. So I was trying to play with bringing texture back into it. Um, and this is one that I'm going to be excited to try and embroider into and bring some of that texture as well into this sort of flat space.